Well, Colorado Task Force One, also on the ground in Florida, ready to assist with rescue and recovery efforts during and after the hurricane. So later today, more members will be heading south to the hurricane zone. Fox 31's Jim Hooley is live at the West Metro Fire Training Center in Lakewood. And Jim, we've been following this, so we know they've already got crews out there. They were in Florida, North Carolina. They're going to send more? Yeah, definitely. They've been out there for two weeks. Uh, members of Task Force One, they went out for the earlier hurricane, Hurricane Helene Kirk, and now they uh, left. Some of the members left earlier this morning. Additional members left DIA. They flew down to Florida, left about 1.30 this morning, and of uh, about 50 plus members now will be leaving. Additional members will be leaving from the training center here in Lakewood coming up later this afternoon to get down there in the hurricane zone. So here's the latest on Colorado Task Force One and their mission as this uh, storm approaches the uh, Tampa Bay area. Once again, the additional team members, when they arrive, they're going to rendezvous with the rest of that group already in, in Florida. They've been down there for the two weeks now, as we said. That's the original team from Colorado that assisted with Helene. Those team members are currently stationed at a Florida National Guard base. And once the storm makes landfall, the entire team will be assigned to where they're needed in the hurricane zone throughout the area for rescue and relief efforts. It's going to be very rough work. That 15 foot storm surge, and I think we've all heard it, and certainly the people that um, have gone to response on hurricanes have seen it. That storm surge is the most deadly, and it won't just take people out of buildings, it will become un unrecognizable. With 15 feet, that's a big deal. The task force is made up of first responders from all over Colorado. They're equipped and trained in things like water rescue, area searches, and dealing with buildings that have collapsed. They also have specially trained canine units with them as well, and those units will uh, work in the search and recovery effort once, uh, once uh, the storm blows through and there may be reports of missing people. So a big job on their hands. One group already on their way, additional members. The other additional members, about 50-plus, will be leaving here from the training center in Lakewood coming up later this afternoon around 2 p.m. Live over in uh, West Metro at the Training Center in Lakewood. I'm Jim Hooley, Fox 31. Yeah, it's cool to see people here in Colorado, you know, kind of literally suiting up and going out and yeah. saying we're going to go to Florida and help. It's amazing I'm, what they're doing. 